Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to add a chat overlay to your Twitch stream using OBS stream elements. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. To get started, we don't need any graphics for this at all, but you can add borders and backgrounds if you want to in the future, so that's always a good option. In this example, I'll be going over stream elements and OBS, so let's go over to streamelements.com and sign in with our Twitch. Okay, once we're logged in from here, we can click on the tools and it'll expand the menu and give you some options for your overlay gallery or just your overlays. In my overlays, we're just gonna add a basic one. I've done a couple tests here. We're just gonna click on new overlay. After you click create a new overlay, this here screen's gonna come up. Now you can add this to an existing overlay if you wanted to, like if you already had a let's chatting or something already set up, you could just add it the exact same way to that overlay as you're adding it to this here overlay. So we're just gonna start from scratch just for this example. And there is a couple ways to do this here. The first way, I find the best way, if you plan to move your chat around a lot in OBS and you don't wanna have to come back in here to edit and fix it. So we're gonna click on this here, overlay resolution, and go down here to custom. In custom, I'm gonna make this here 480 by 700. I find this here is a very good chat size and click start. Okay, the canvas, the base canvas is gonna show up in here and it's gonna have add widget, which is this plus sign down here. In this here list of tools, you have a quite a bit of things to add. You can go all the way down here to the bottom and it'll say your stream chat. Now you can just put this here anywhere. There's a few things you can do in here now. It is in dark mode. I like to use custom so that it's see-through so that I don't have a background. Another thing that I like to do is to change the text color. So I'm going to go down here to the text settings, make sure that it's very white, and I want to add a black stroke of one. Okay, now while you're doing this here, you can actually test your chat by typing in your chat at any time, and it will show up in here. So I'm just going to type in my OBS. And there we go. We'll see the size. I'm going to change the size up just a little bit and make this a little bit bigger. Okay, and one more thing we can do here is we can add a layer. Click on this here plus sign down here, and we're gonna go to a static and custom and add ourselves an image. This will allow us to pick a border if you want one. This isn't a needed step, this is just something that you can do if you have this stuff available. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a good size for it. We're gonna put this in the center, and I'm gonna make this. This might take a little bit of fine tuning. Okay, and I think that's good. Once that's all done, just make sure that you click save. And you wanna make sure that you name this chat overlay. And click save. Now we're just gonna copy the overlays link and open OBS. Now I already have it added here, we'll remove it so that it's gone. We'll go in here and add a browser source. So we'll just click on that, add the browser source, and remember the size that you put it in of 480 by 700, so that it's not stretched and just so that it looks correct. All right, and there we go. There's the chat. Now I make it like this here because I find this here easier then the second way I'm gonna show you how to move the chat around. And this gives you a little bit of, of cushion on each side. And you, again, you can test this by just going into your OBS and just typing in some messages and just make sure everything stays inside the borders. All right, that looks pretty good to me. You might need to adjust text sizes and a few other things. And it depends if you have a background as well. Like if you have a different color background, different colors may work different for you. But that's the first example of how to actually get your chat to show up. And now we'll just go back in here and we'll get out of this one. And I'll bring you through the second way. The second way that I like to do chat is when I add the overlay, I just make it a 1080p. That's perfectly fine and just click start. The problem with this one here is when you add the widget, the stream chat, you have to move it around in here. So wherever you would like the chat to show up on your stream, you'll need to place it in here in the correct position. So I'll just put it here like this 
and I'll make this one here white. We'll make this one here a white chat so that it shows up right away. And I'm not gonna put a border on this one here. Um, you can you can do it the same way. You can just go in here, add yourself a static custom image and size your border if you want. I guess I'll do that right quick. Click it in here. And size it up. And get it to fit the best you can. The better you get it lined up, the better it'll look. There we go, that should be good. And again, you can just give it a test and chat. Make sure everything is good. I definitely, I forgot to change the text size. You may want to change the text size each time. So we'll go into the text settings. It's fine the way it is there for color. And we're just going to change the size up so that we can see it. I think that's a good size. And it's the same thing, just save it. And I'm gonna call this one here, chat 1080p and click save. Same thing, we just copy the link and go down here and open our OBS, add a browser source, click the browser source in, copy or paste in the URL and make sure that it says 1920 by 1080 or your chat's gonna look very off. And then once we click okay, the chat will show up right where you placed it. Now the thing about this here chat is if you want to move your chat around, you have to move your whole window. So so if you go to resize things, it's going to resize your whole chat. But you can move it around and you can use it like this here. I just find it a lot easier to use this one here. Oh. to use this one here to move around. It's easier for clipping and stuff like that as well. So it depends on what one you like best. You can do it either way. You can change the background colors. You can add the same things very easily. Each different one's gonna give you a little bit different result. But that's it. That's everything there is to it. After that's done, you'll have your stream chat on your stream instead of just in the chat. So if you have a let's chatting stream or something like that, or just want your chat window up on your screen, uh, this is an easy way to do it. It's pretty fast. There's only a few steps to it. If you think I might have left something out, definitely leave something in the description below. But if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching, guys.